Hello, I'm Tim Cassidy. I'm the Battalion Chief of Training and Safety for the Mountain Prospect Fire Department here today to describe to you an uh, exercise that we conducted recently. Thanks to the generous donation of uh, a property that uh, one of our residents plans to have demoed and um, in preparation to build a new structure on the property. So he was able to coordinate with us um, that we could use the home before it was demoed for training as a realistic prop to conduct some of our residential firefighting and rescue techniques. The curriculum we chose is known as VEIS. That's an acronym for VENT, Enter, Isolate, and Search. VENT being um, opening a window, and, and you'll see we actually break out the window. Enter being the firefighters enter the home through the window as opposed to the front door where you would normally enter the home. Um, isolate being um, we will verify that the interior bedroom door is closed as hopefully those doors are closed when you go to bed to prevent the fire spread. And finally search is once we assure that door is closed to protect the victim in the room and the firefighters from smoke or fire in other parts of the house, we do a quick search of the room to determine if there's any victims in there and get them out the same way we came in through the from the window out to the ladder. So the benefits of that are um, safety for the victim and the firefighter compared to going through the hallways and stairways that may be filled with smoke or fire we get out the window and get that victim who has no protective um, firefighting clothing on, they get right out into fresh air right away through the window. So um, if you notice, we set up the house with theater smoke to diminish the visibility inside to simulate real fire scenarios where there is no visibility, you can't see anything in front of you. And then we added a training mannequin as the victim in one of the bedrooms. and. We set up the drill with a classroom portion first where we describe the objectives of this tactic and the kind of the finer points of um, how, we, how we are supposed to do it. And then we deployed our crews to show up, pull the engine in front of the house, just like if it were a real fire, and um, get their proper equipment and approach the house, entering the window where a bystander or an actor like me says, this is the window where we saw a victim. So they enter the window through the ladders, they break the window, they enter the room, they check the door to make sure it's isolated, and they search the room. Then they, uh, you'll, you, you can see they'll, vic they'll rescue the victim through the same opening instead of dragging them through the burning home. And then they will exit that room themselves um, for their next assignment. So after we completed the drill, we gathered around and we were able to discuss the things that we did well, as well as the things that we need to improve upon. And then thanks to the donation of this structure as a prop, we're able to do it again and improve on those things that we needed to improve on and um, you know, kind of do some sets and reps to get better and faster at this tech. If you know anyone who's uh, planning on demolishing their home to, to build another structure, and they're willing to donate it to the fire department for training for a, a day or a week um, or, or whatever whatever it would allow you can contact me at the fire department it's greatly appreciated and um, it it does wonders for the public safety as well as for the safety of our firefighters